Thank the sheriff, the mayor, our police chief, captain, all the men and women in uniform. You're going to learn over the course of the next number of days and weeks about the heroism of the San Jose police, saved lives, <clears throat> deputy sheriffs uh, that ran, quite literally ran, moments after, seconds after hearing about this incident uh, without any consideration of their own lives and did an extraordinary job to save other people's lives. That said, uh, you know, there's a numbness I imagine some of us are feeling about this because there's a sameness to this. You know, any where USA just feels like this happens over and over and over again. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. It wasn't that long ago I was standing out here talking about the tragic loss of two children, one in the mother's arms, the Gilroy Festival, just here in this community, down in Southern California and San Bernardino, I remember a few years prior in Santa Barbara. You know, pick a state. And here we are in the United States of America. We're experiencing something just is not experienced anywhere else in the world. There's a sameness to this. And that numbness, I think, is something we're all feeling. All of us gathered here today, looking at this scene, listening to governors, mayors, chiefs, speaking, similar tone and terms, expression of condolences, all the right emotions and perhaps the right words, but it begs the damn question, what the hell is going on in the United States of America? What the hell is wrong with us? And when are we going to come to grips with this? When are we going to put down our arms, literally and figuratively, our politics, stale rhetoric, finger pointing, all the hand-wringing consternation that produces nothing except more fury and frustration, more scenes like this repeated over and over and over again. I say that not as a governor, I just say that as a father of four. I say that as a member of this community, cares deeply about it. So we'll, we'll have time to work through all of that, but one thing I just wanted to briefly speak to is the pain in those victims. I just spent, we just had the privilege of spending the last few hours with the victims that are waiting to just learn if their loved one is still alive. They're dialing the phones, they can't find it. They're trying to go on and find a phone of a loved one. Waiting here from the corner, waiting here from any of us, just desperate to find out if their brother, their son, their dad, their mom is still alive. Just imagine being in there for them. I know everybody wants all the answers to all these questions, but there's no more important question and no more important answers than we owe than the victims of this senseless and tragic shooting. And so I'm not just going to express my condolences. I'm not just going to express the usual platitudes. Uh, but let me just thank the heroism of those victims. The fact that they can even stand up and support one another is remarkable. What a human act. And so I just want to, uh, we just want folks to know we're going to be there for the victims. I want folks to know, you know, I'm here for you, Mr. Mayor, and the county, uh, this state. And, uh, and I know we have elected officials of all political stripes who want to be here for this nation. But it's time, time to deal with the endemic before this pandemic of gun violence, the pre-existing condition that somehow sort of pushed aside last year, but now has raised its ugly head again this year. And wake up to this reality and take a little damn responsibility, all of us, to do a little bit more and a little bit better this time and move beyond the platitudes and the usual rhetoric that tends to mark not just these moments, but the aftermath of these moments as all of you go away and this fades out of you and then we rinse and repeat someplace else in this country. So again, to the victims, to those that lost their lives and the families lost their loved ones, yes, our hearts go out, but we are resolved to not make this meaningless, but to bring meaning at this tragic moment in our state and our nation's history. Again, thank you to all the men and women behind me and their courageousness and the incredible, incredible bravery that was demonstrable of the men and women in our San Jose Police Department and Sheriff's Office.